Well, it is time to get ready to kick off Black History Month, and what better way than to head on over to Saginaw Valley State University for a one-of-a-kind exhibition and some soothing sounds as well. To tell us all about it is Megan McAdow. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. So delighted to hear you're the director of the Marshall and Fredericks Sculpture Museum. Tell us a little bit about this new exhibit. It's called Jacob Lawrence, The Legend of John Brown from the Mott Walsh Collection. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we have 22 prints from um, actually a pioneering African-American artist, mm. um, Jacob Lawrence, and um, he would often work in these series where he would tell a story, um, historical story, um, in this case, the legend of John Brown, who was a white abolitionist. And so you can see that the colors are mm. very vivid and um, the imagery is sharp, And um, but it's a great thing for black history for yes. um, folks of all ages to learn a, bit, a little bit about our history. It really is, and it's a poem journey using paintings to tell the story of abolitionist yes. John Brown that you're talking about. So what, did, what do you really hope that people take away from this exhibition? Um, several things I think is one that there are a lot of different ways to share history yes. that it doesn't have to just be names and dates and textbooks um, but also um, that this is not just black history it is American history yes. and so it um, you know definitely with this story of a white abolitionist right. working to free slaves it shows that we're all in this together but I, that's such a great message it takes everyone mm -hmm. you know to, to be to, together and work together and love each other that's a great message for Black History Month. There's also a free concert, which you're having on February yes. 2nd. Tell us about that. Yes, so um, local vocalist, um, Monique Ella Rose, mm. and her band, and I should say enhanced band, she's got a lot of um, band members, backup singers coming to oh. um, to the museum at uh, Saginaw Valley State University on Thursday, next coming Thursday, uh, the 2nd at 7.30 for a free concert. And um, it's, she mm. is fabulous, she is grooving, and she covers all different genres yes. of um, African American cultural heritage uh, through music. It's awesome. We're and excited. you said the magic word. It's free. It's and free. it's something that's beautiful mm -hmm. for you to, to celebrate black history. Yeah. You also have some other programming and also other workshops going on. Yeah. So we also have another exhibition that we just opened. Yeah. It is um, called Off Kilter on Point. It is art from the 1960s. So it's got Warhol and oh, Lichtenstein wow. and all of these kind of big iconic mm -hmm. um, pop artists and um, opt art. And so just really um, fun for people to visually, visual candy. And, oh, visual candy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have to go see that. I mean, <laughs> that's a must see. Where are you located and when can our friends come out yeah. and enjoy this? So we are on the campus of Saginaw Valley State University um, in Saginaw County here. And um, we are open, uh, also free, all the time, Monday yeah. through Saturday, 11 to 5. And um, the exhibitions are free. And then also after, I'll say it one more time, yes. the free concert, we have um, uh, an afterglow reception back at the museum for folks. Oh, that's beautiful. Any other message that you'd like people just to get out during Black History Month as we enter that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think let's look to some of our cultural resources sources like the museum go to marshallfredericks.org we have a virtual exhibition as well so you can dive into more information yeah. whether it's your school class or your family or yourself thank you so much for yeah. bringing this valuable information yeah. and your message of working together it takes us all yes thank you so much yeah, thank you and we'll have all this information on our website as well if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show you can send them to us at wnem 4 pm news at wnem.com just use the subject 4 p.m. News Spotlight.